Star Wars A New Hope first came to theaters in 1977, and now the nine movie franchise is well known worldwide. We have Star Wars movies, books, video games, comics, toys, we love our Star Wars. And we all have that one thing that we love about Star Wars. And some people like the more exotic side of Star Wars, but me personally, I like the lightsaber and more importantly, the lightsaber duels. So in this video, I'm going to be going over my top 10 lightsaber duels from movies and TV shows. Let's get into the video. Coming in at number 10 is Obi-Wan vs. Darth Vader in Star Wars Episode 4 A New Hope. And while this may not be the most visually exciting lightsaber duel because it was the first ever one filmed on screen, it has a lot of history between Obi-Wan and Darth Vader and this is the first time Obi-Wan has seen Darth Vader since he fought him in episode 3 and he thought that Anakin had died he thought he left him on Mustafar and that he burned up and he was dead but no he's been alive all this time he's in this big robot suit and yeah they have their second fight in the end Obi-Wan decides to sacrifice himself for Luke to let Luke, um, Luke and his friends escape and overall this is just a great lightsaber duel. At number 9 is Anakin vs. Asajj Ventress from the 2003 Clone Wars cartoon. And Asajj Ventress was originally supposed to be in Episode 2 Attack of the Clones, but she didn't make it onto the big screen until 2003 in this cartoon. And I just love it when the rain starts coming down and it hits their lightsabers and then the smoke just starts coming up. I think that looks really cool. And then the fight starts, they're both, they're both pretty evenly matched, they're fighting each other. But then towards the end, we get to see a glimpse at Anakin's dark side and what his future will be like. And this is my favorite part of the fight. And he grabs Asajj Ventress's lightsaber and he's just hammering it down on her like Luke did to him in episode 6. And then we see glimpses of Qui-Gon, Obi-Wan, and Yoda's faces. And then he just strikes her one last time and she falls down this pit. And then at the very end, he lets out this yell. And I just love the conclusion to this fight. <laughs> Coming in at number 8. We have Rey vs. Kylo from Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. Now, the thing I really love about this fight is the visuals. The snow from Starkiller Base in the background, Kylo chopping down, chopping down trees with his heavy swings, the snow falling on their lightsabers, I just love all of it. And I really love that um, shot at the end where Rey she grabs Kylo's lightsaber and she starts like sticking it in the ground and her lightsaber's in the air and his is in the ground. I love that shot. And um, there are a lot of people who are like, oh, Rey shouldn't have been able to defeat Kylo because she had no training. Well, before this fight even started, Kylo Ren was shot in the stomach with Chewbacca's bowcaster. Anyone else who had been shot by that died and their body went flying. But he took that shot like a man and he just like endured it and throughout the whole fight he's like punching his stomach trying to like keep the blood in i guess but like he's fighting through all this he's near death the whole entire fight and he's still overpowering her most of the fight until the end and i just thought this was a great first um lightsaber duel to start off the new sequel trilogy all right, so at number seven, we have Sheev versus Maul and Savage Opress. And if you don't know who Sheev is, that's Emperor Palpatine's first name. I think it sounds way funnier and better than Emperor Palpatine, so I'm always going to refer to him as Sheev. Anyway, this fight is amazing. We first see Sheev walk in, and you can tell from the beginning that Maul and Savage, they're not going to win this. I mean... Sheev is he's just overpowering them the whole fight and then when while he's fighting them he's just smiling the whole time because he knows he's going to win and then we see Savage he gets stabbed in the stomach and then Maul he sees um he feels what Obi-Wan felt when he killed Obi-Wan's master and now his master just killed his brother and I thought that was kind of cool and yeah Maul he brings out the dark saber and he tries to like 
bring out his rage but no 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 he still can't win Sheev just starts um he throws him up in the air and crashes him on the ground with the force and then at the end maul begs for mercy and then palpatine's just like there is no mercy and then he just electrocutes him and i thought that was a really cool way to end off the fight all right so at number six we have ahsoka versus vader and i simply love the beginning of this fight vader rides in like he's standing on top of his tie fighter and it's just like gliding in and we can tell that um ezra at the beginning that he is nowhere near vader because vader fights him and then like within five seconds he breaks ezra's lightsaber and then ahsoka comes in and this is her and anakin's first time seeing each other since anakin became darth vader and um i really love the animation of this fight i love the artwork they did with the um lightsabers like they're like skinny lightsabers trying to go back to a more like original design from the original concept art for the first movie and i just um love how the fight was animated i love the tension between ahsoka and vader and um then when um she cuts vader's helmet off um she slices it and a piece of it comes off and then you can see anakin's face and then you can see um anakin's voice actors um you can hear his voice and you can hear james Earl jones's voice at the same time and i really love when that happens and then the conclusion to this fight is great they're fighting and then like the big sith temple just falls on top of them and i just love this fight at number five we have luke versus vader part two from star wars episode six return of the jedi and I really, really love this fight. Um, at the beginning, you know, Luke's trying to resist the urge to fight. And then the Emperor shows him his friends are in trouble. And then finally Luke grabs his lightsaber. And then that first shot where his and um, Darth Vader's lightsabers meet, I love that shot. And then throughout the fight, the fight is pretty well choreographed. We get that scene where... Um, Darth Vader peers into Luke's mind and finds out he has a sister and then he like threatens to go kill Leia and then Luke pops out and then he like releases all his rage and then he's like he's just going at Vader with full force and then he just starts like pounding his lightsaber over and over and over again into Vader's and then finally he cuts off Vader's hand and then at the end he has to um he has to refuse the urge to turn to the dark side and he throws his lightsaber away. And I think that was great for Luke's character. At number four, we have Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon Jinn versus Darth Maul. Now, at the beginning of this fight, we get this really menacing scene where Maul shows up. He sticks his lightsaber out and then the two blades come out each side. And that was the first time we got to see someone with a double bladed lightsaber. And that was really cool. And this is probably the second most well choreographed fight out of all the lightsaber duels in all the movies. And it's just really cool to see one Sith versus two Jedi. And like he's holding his own against them too. And then at the end, um, Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan, they get separated because of these little like red beams. And then when Obi um, Qui-Gon, he goes in by himself and then he fights pretty well, but then Maul takes him out. And then Obi-Wan, he's just filled with rage. And then once he goes out to fight Maul, he's going, he's going crazy. He's just going real fast. They're both fighting extra hard. Then he breaks Maul's lightsaber in half. So it's just a single blade. But then Maul knocks him down and he thinks that Obi-Wan's defeated. But then Obi-Wan jumps up, grabs his master's lightsaber, cuts Maul in half, and Maul falls to his demise. Well, so we thought. At number three is Sheev Palpatine versus four Jedi Masters. Now, this is this is one of the most hilarious fight scenes ever. At the beginning. We see um, Palpatine sitting there in his chair. He turns around and then he's talking about I am the Senate and all of these prequel memes that we have. A lot of them come from this very fight. And then we see um, Palpatine. He swings in and he like does this like little twirl thing and this like scream. It's I love it. And then when the fight first starts, he's just annihilating them. He kills three Jedi ma masters in a matter of like five seconds. 
and then him and Mace Windu fight, and they're going at it, and Mace Windu lasts pretty long, when, like, the only reason he lost is because Anakin comes in and chops off his arm, and then Palpatine just starts electrocuting him with the force lightning, and then he's like, unlimited power, and I just love that scene so much. Coming in at number two is Luke versus Darth Vader part one from episode five, The Empire Strikes Back. And the beginning of this fight is really, really cool. We see like it's totally dark around them. There's smoke everywhere. And then Luke ignites his lightsaber. And then um, Vader's lightsaber slowly ignites. And then they just start fighting. And we can tell throughout this whole fight that Luke is totally outmatched. He's not going to beat Vader. Vader's just toying with him the whole time. He's not really attacking. He's basically just defending from all of Luke's attacks. He gets impressed with Luke a couple of times during this fight, but not too many times. And then <laughs> Vader just gets bored and he just starts hurling objects at Luke with the force. And then the conclusion of this fight um vader finally tells luke that he is his father and then luke is just like distraught and then he basically sacrifices himself and jumps away into the abyss of cloud city and in our number one spot we have the best lightsaber duel ever anakin versus obi-wan from episode three revenge of the sith now i just mm, it, this fight is amazing the choreography is great the tension everything is just beautiful we see anakin and obi-wan they're both at their prime and they both know what each other's going to do and they're anticipating each other's moves and the fight it just looks like a long like dance sequence and they're just like going at each other they're like saber spins are cool they're like jumping up on objects that are about to fall in lava and they're still fighting each other and then at the end anakin finally meets his demise um he does not have the high ground because obi-wan has that high ground he tries to do some flip thing but it doesn't it doesn't work Obi-Wan cuts off two legs and an arm with one swing and leaves Anakin to die there on Mustafar. If you like this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below telling me your top 10 lightsaber duels. And also, tell me what other videos you'd like to see on this channel. Turn on post notifications so you never miss any of my videos. This is King Beam. Have a great day. Peace.